Hi guys, welcome, welcome. Today I have a cooking demonstration. So um, I've hauled these chewy Duncan Hines chewy fudge. Shoo, 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 shoo. Duncan Hines chewy fudge brownie mix, thick and fudgy. So we're doing that today, but I'm gonna boost it up with like a couple of items that I have in my pantry, which is I've hauled these a couple of um, like maybe last month because I was saving it up for Easter stuff for my team. But since I don't see them, then I just used it up. So I just used one of these peeps. I chose the yellow because I think that would look nice, but who knows. But I just cut them up into little pieces, like not so small, because I want chunks on my um, brownies. So, and then I have a bunch of like kisses that I just unwrap, like Hershey's kisses. And then I'm also gonna put some walnuts. So what I do is that I just really literally like follow the packaging. So it calls for three eggs and these are my three eggs that I am going to put in my mixing bowl. Dun, 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 dun. So how are you guys doing? I am fortunate enough that I'm still working um, for a couple of hours because of who I work for but most of the people they cut down like um half of my our staff so we don't really it's not everybody that works is what i'm trying to say so i'm just going to get my whisk and just whisk up or break the eggs up so i hope that everybody's doing okay Oh, that's my oven preheating because um, it says right here that you are to preheat your um, oven for 350. And I'm also going to need a uh, water and vegetable oil. So let me go ahead and get my measuring cup that I just cleaned. So I'm going to start with the water. So water I would need okay so it gives you an option if you want them cakey or um fudgy well i should have used two eggs but that's okay so half a cup of water and half a cup of vegetable oil so says fourth of a cup and i actually did this too much Okay, so dump my water in there. Let me get my oil. Use, well, actually, I'm going to use cream oil. So, I put my oil in these like um, ketchup or condiments like thing. And I think it works out because you don't use too much oil. So, I'm going to need. A uh, half a cup of this. Wow. So put that back. And then we're just going to dump it into this. And then since there are some like drippings in there, what I like to do is like the pan that I'm going to cook it with, which is this pan right here. I'm just going to there and then give it a little mix open my pan cat so I love picking up these um, stuff from the Dollar Tree because like you know you can make like a simple snack to crave your sweet too and then um, you're also doing some like things for church or party it's easy you just put up a couple of ingredients with it so i don't think that i'm gonna use my whisk for this i'm just gonna use up my east petula so it's easier to mix there we go 
yeah it makes your life so much easier and you can be creative with what you wanted to put on it whatever you have in your pantry that's usually what i do but um yeah and it's just gonna be me and my husband that would eat this so yep just gonna continuously mix this all right so the next thing that i'm gonna do like i said i put that uh, measuring um mug in there but it's not quite oiled yet so i'm just gonna grease my pan and i have some oil right here that i have used for my homemade yeast donuts that i made I think two weeks ago so which I'm making again probably within the next couple of days so comment down below if you would like me to share that um, recipe with you or another cook with me with Abby I guess so oh and I would like to thank Sam for this arcade fire shirt because I got it when she gave me she gave me her arcade fire ticket so who does that only a person with a kind heart and this is like we haven't met before I mean we have met before but she was new and I told her that I liked it and she gave them to me so just putting this one in here which is always a struggle for me okay it's so heavy oops so comment down below if you have been cooking on this um self-quarantine thing what have you made for your family um what is the favorite thing that you make for your family snack wise actually that would be a good thing so oh see i can't control this oh my gosh my hands have been weak because of tilda actually ran out one time or just like zoom out when we were walking and that has not been the same before so at this point after i put my batter in there uh, let me just clean my hands real quick um this is the time that I put my toppings. I don't really like put them in the batter and mix it because I want to be able to place them. So I'm going to start with my chocolates and I didn't really cut them because I want those chunks. I feel like they're going to um, melt a little bit anyhow. So because I want this to be a chunky brownie and like I said, I, I just like to place them like randomly that's why i don't and i want to be able to see them when i cut them and i probably overdid the chocolate but that's okay who doesn't like extra chocolate chunky chocolate in their brownie anyhow i know i do so yeah that's basically i think what you should do is like customize it for your liking everything that you like go crazy might end up like discovering a recipe so all right so so now i'm gonna put my marshmallow and since i don't have that much i want to make sure that i really put them more evenly I mean I have more but I just wanted to use one maybe towards more the center all right 
And if you have kids, you can have your kids help you with this too. Especially now that they're probably so bored like you all are. Like we all are, actually. Uh, all right. You, they're sticking on my finger. Where do I put you? Right there. Okay. So lastly, I'm going to put my um, nuts, which is walnuts, and it might look like I'm like throwing it because I'm like I'm really directing it to like the place that I want it to be or where I want my brownies to be. I mean, my nuts to be on my brownies. Wow, I'm totally making sense, am I? Okay. All right, you guys. So I just kind of like want you to see that is what it looks like right now. So now we're going to put it in the oven. It says that... You need to put it in the oven for between blah, 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 blah. Um, wait a second. Pan. Okay. I don't know. How many minutes is this? Mm, I can't figure it out. Oh, there you go. For between 21 to 23 minutes. So I'm going to put it in at 22 uh, minutes. So... Just need to adjust my rack. All right, and we'll see how that works in twenty two minutes. Hi, guys. So um, it is done, but we have to cool it before we, um, obviously, um, like slice it. So I just kind of like want to show you what it looks like now. So it looks like that. So yeah, um, the marshmallow kind of like puff, but obviously it will shrink. So we'll give it like a couple more minutes and... Yeah, we're going to cut these. Hi, guys. So it's been an hour since our um, brownies are um, cooling off. So I'm going to go grab it from the fridge and we'll see how it goes. All right. I have to say it's still a little warm on the bottom, but I think we are just going to try to see what we have here. So... I'll just get this. Yeah. The center is still like really, really wet. But I think this is ready to serve. So we're going to go ahead and serve it up. Get our serving plate, and then we should grab our cookie server right here. Oops, of course. Oh, wow! So it looks like that you guys and so the center part of it did not quite cook I should have left it longer or maybe it's the chocolate that actually melted so let's see mm. That's good because it's still a little warm. This is awesome. I'm sorry. 
Thank you guys for watching. I hope you like this video. Comment down below if you would like me to share with you some of my um, recipes. I'll post this. And you should try this. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.